In this video, we will see how to use the setAtrib method on the list object to represent error trials. In the sample experiment, participants are presented with a letter and asked to respond whether or not it is a vowel. The accuracy of their response is checked through the input tab's reference to the attribute correct answer. That attribute is found on the trial list. The track errors inline keeps track of which trials had incorrect responses and then populates the rerun list with these items as the experiment is running. In other words, items that the participants answer incorrectly will be represented to them in the subsequent list. Let's take a closer look at the inline objects to see how list.setatrib is used. The track errors inline specifies what will happen if an incorrect response is given. When the accuracy is equal to zero, the rerun list is modified in a few ways. The stimulus attribute for the item on rerun list is assigned based on the stimulus attribute from the incorrectly answered item. We can see here that c.getatrib is used to access this information. Similarly, the correct answer for the item is also retrieved and used to populate the list. Set rerun list inline simply determines whether or not to use the rerun list. This is done by determining whether any errors were made overall. If there were not, it goes to the end of block label. If there were, it runs the rerun list. So now this is our experiment with list.setatrib.